Hey guys and welcome to my first ever makeup tutorial YouTube video. I don't know, I'm so excited to be finally sitting down and doing this for you, filming. If my passion is makeup, is creating art on my face. I mean, I, that's what I see it as, you know, is art. It's art on my face. I did this intense like halo, blue, silver, icy, grungy, smoky eye with this really intense blue lip that I'm freaking digging so much i'm digging blue like there's no tomorrow like you guys digging it but i'm really really happy with how this look turned out i was unsure halfway through i got the black on and i was like <laughs> but then do you know what that just shows you start something you finish it you might really love it okay. so excited so if you guys want to see this look then please stick around and check it out and subscribe subscribe because I'm going to be doing some more cool stuff. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to be using my Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Primer. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. I really like this primer. I don't know if I should do foundation first or if I should do eye makeup first. I've always been like a, like a foundation concealer first kind of girl. But then recently I've been doing eyeshadows first. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, okay, let's do eyes first and then we'll do face. Okay, good idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom you in. Let's get up close and personal. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and just use that on my eyes. Just to prime the, just to prime the area, and I'm gonna chuck it in my eyebrows as well, just because I find that my eyebrow product like sticks better. First thing that I'm gonna be doing is dim brows, and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in the shade Ebony. So it looks like this. I like to use the dark powder, just because. Bold brows are life. So the brush I like to use for my brows is a Zoeva 322 Brow Line brush and it just looks like looks like this. So I like to just trace around the arch and then drag the rest of that powder that's already on the brush just like through the tail, through the middle of the brow. Just blend it all out. And the really good thing about us like doing our eyeshadow first, it means that if we get a little cray cray with the brows, then we can just clean them up like later with concealer or foundation and make them a little less cray cray. But let's just be realistic. I love a cray cray. Then I go ahead and I just trace the bottom of the eyebrow. Then for the front of the brow, I take the brush, dip back into the product, and then what I do is I start from like the middle, like here, and I draw a line, and then I just blend it down. Just like so. I like to take my Benefit Give Me Brow and just run that all through my brows. Um, so I'm in the shade 5. And I like to start at the front of the brow and I brush those hairs more like up. Then as I get to the back of the brow, I brush them down. Okay, so moving on to the eyeshadow. I'm going to first be taking the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to take the really pale shade in the palette. So it's this one, just right here, don't even ask me to pronounce names because I don't even know. Tempura? I feel like that's a curry. But I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to be taking that on a little like flat brush and I'm just going to be packing that all over the lid area just to basically set down the concealer that we put there before so that it's much easier to blend eyeshadows on top of. Going back into the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm taking the two warmer shades, so they are Raw Sienna and Burn Orange. And I'm just going to run that all through my upper crease area. So the next shade that I'm going to be taking out of that Modern, Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette 
is the shade Cypress Umber, which is like a cool tone brown. And I'm taking that on a MAC 217 brush and at first I'm just packing it into this outer corner area and then slowly as there's less product on the brush, I'll bring it up into the crease and then buff it around. The thing that I don't want to do is I don't want to get this colour on the middle lid. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you do, but um, I guess it just makes life a lot easier to not have any colour on the middle lid since we're doing a halo. And then I'm going to pick up that colour again and put it into the inner corner. Do like the same thing on the inner corner that we did on the outer corner. I'm just build up the intensity of the outer and inner corners until I'm happy with them. I'm going to be taking one of my favourite eyeshadows and this is Blue Jeans by NYX and it's one of their prismatic shadows. Oh my god. So I'm taking this shadow on a Zoeva 232 brush and I'm packing it again um, in the outer and inner corners. It doesn't matter if you if you're having fallout right now because we can basically we can just clean that up later since we didn't do our since we did not do our foundation first. Now on a much smaller brush, I'm taking a black eyeshadow and I'm going right in the like right in in like right into the inner corner, right onto the outer edge, just to intensify those areas. Then we're just going to take a blending brush, just buff out all of those edges. And then I'm going to go into MAC Cosmetics Silver Fog Pigment and I'm just going to put this on the centre of my eye. So all the space that was clear. I'm going to pack this on and then I'm going to take the same brush that I used for the blue, the prismatic eyeshadow and I'm just going to buff out the edges to make it really gradient. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the lower lash line and I'm just taking a and I'm just taking a black liner. Putting that in my waterline and smudging it sort of underneath as well, like on the lash line. And then I'm going to take a short shader brush with cypress umber on it and I'm just going to smudge that out. I'm going to take the same brush that we did all the black work with and I'm just going to pick up that same blue prismatic eyeshadow and buff it underneath so we've got a really heavy, really smoky lower lash line. And now for my inner corner, I'm just going to use the same silver that we used on the lid and I'm just going to pack that in there. Blend it out with the same brush that again we used. And now we're going to move on to doing the face so we've already primed and stiff like that. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm in the shade Vanilla. So I'm going to take my foundation on my Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush and I'm just going to start buffing that into my face. I sp so first I sort of just like load up the brush, spread it around and then start patting it in and then I start patting and buffing it in just like so. I freaking love this foundation. I think it's so good. But basically, I do one layer all over my face. Don't forget to bring it down your neck. And I always do downward swiping motions because you've got little hairs like all over your face. And if you do upwards motions, you're pushing all of that hair up. And so if you do that, your makeup's not going to sit properly. So it's always good to, to be brushing down. Okay, so I'm going to take the same concealer that I used to prime my eyelids um, and I'm going to put it under my eyes. So I'm using the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in the shade MW15 on top of the lip, on the chin and then I like to bring it down the nose Boop. and then I like to put it in between the eyebrows and just a little bit on the forehead. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buff all of that into the face and what I like to do is, is I like to do the um, I like to do the nose and the lip and the chin and the forehead first and then I go in and I go and I do my under eyes because I don't know if I'm crazy but I feel like the longer I leave the wet products under my eyes the more pigmented it is. No, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just weird. 
I'm going to buff that out. I don't want to be really careful to not like get any harsh lines around my eyes because I like that schmucky schmucky. So I'm just going to like rub it under there. And because we've like, because I brought my eyeshadow so far down, it already covers half of my dark circle anyway. <laughs> Covering a dark circle with another dark circle. What are you gonna do? I don't care. Usually I like to set my under eyes with my MAC Emphasize Powder, but unfortunately it's all the way on my counter. And then I don't want to get up and go and get it. Which is the NYX HD Finishing Powder. So under my eye, I'm going to do a little tiny bit of a cream highlight. Just because I find it makes the powder highlight that I'm going to apply a lot more intense. MAC Cream Color Base in Luna. I just like to use a duo fiber brush for this. And I'm just going to pop it. Just going to slightly tap it on my cheekbones. Keep it slow, chin, nose. I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When I first bought this, I, like, didn't love it. Like, I was like, oh, where's the intensity? Um, but then I kind of figured out, you know, cream first and then put this on top. And it's, like, it's epic. I freaking love it. So I'm going to take the shade Blue Ice just to stick with the theme of the, the blue eyeshadow because we're pretty icy just to stick with the theme of the blue eyeshadow I'm gonna chuck this on the highest points of my face look at that look at it oh, oh my god oh. I'm gonna put it on my chin cupid bow nose and then on the bridge of my nose as well I like to think of bronzing as like a transition so you know how when we do our eyeshadow, we, we put like a shade in the crease and it's like a transition shade. And well, I like to think of bronzy as the exact same. I am an offender of a bronzer helmet. And you know what? I don't care. I love a good bronzer helmet. And then to contour, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powder in the shade Fawn on this Napoleon Tutu B brush. And I'm just going to... On top of my triples. And then for blush, I'm going to use this end shade here, which is not a NARS blush, and I think it's called what's it called? I don't know. Dolce Vita. And I'm just gonna put that on the apples of my cheeks. Blend it into that highlight and into that contour. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna get really wild. These Kat Von D Echo liquid lipsticks. <gasps> you guys. Oh. I think I got a bit crazy with my lip on one overlining on this side. So I think I got so I kind of love it. I kind of love it. God. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom you in so you can have a look at the eye look. Come in and have a look. Let's get this little hair out of the way. And this, guys, is the end of my very first makeup tutorial. And I really hope that you guys loved it as much as I loved it and enjoyed doing it. This was so much fun. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a share. Subscribe. Um, let me know in the comments anything you'd like to see, please. It's so hard. I don't know. It's so hard to always be trying to do, like, new things and... Yeah, I'd really love to know what you guys want to see from me. I want to give you what you want to see. And I'll hopefully see you guys and be filming for you guys really shortly. Thank you so much.